I'm Matt. I'm here at Music Makers, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of assembling our Bongo Cajon kit. It's a very uh, easy project to do at home with, with little to no woodworking experience. So um, let me just get you started here. And now I'm going to just talk about in this video the things you want to gather before you get started on this project. So obviously you've got the kit, you want to go through your kit, make sure you have all the pieces and you're going to have two long frame pieces, two uh, short frame pieces, these are the sides, a spacer, and the top. So make sure you've got all those parts and they look alright. Um, you're also going to want to have your assembly instructions and, and go ahead and read through these um, from start to finish if you haven't already. Give you a good idea what we're going to do. Uh, now you're going to want to have a couple tools on hand to work on this project. You don't need much, but you're going to need some woodworking glue. This is just yellow carpenter's glue. Uh, Elmer's or Tight Bond are two very common brands. You can find at any hardware store. Um, while you're at the hardware store, you can also pick up some finish, uh, some kind of varnish. We usually like to use a polyurethane. This is a satin um, sheen here. It's a wipe-on polyurethane. It's also a very common uh, thing to find at a hardware store or a big box home improvement store. So pick up some of that. You're going to need some sandpaper. Uh, basically some 100 grit and some 180 will get you through this project. The 100 grit for shaping and rounding over corners and the 180 will help you uh, get a nice final sanding before you put the finish on. Um, something that would make this project a lot faster for you is uh, an electric hand sander like this. Now if you don't have one of these you don't necessarily need to go buy one. You can do the project without this. It's just going to require more elbow grease. But I also encourage you to go talk to your friends, neighbors, and coworkers, and see if somebody's got one that you can borrow or they could um, maybe let you use. And they might even want to come over and, and help you out a little bit. Uh, it's a great way to make a connection with somebody that you might not have connected with before. Um, another helpful tool is a, is a longer sanding block like this. This is just a, a level piece of wood that we've glued some 100 grit sandpaper on. Uh, this is used for leveling off the top. You'll see that um, in, a, in another video as I demonstrate that. Uh, you'll also want to have some uh, masking tape to hold the frame together when you glue it. And you're going to want to have a heavy weight to help weigh down. Well, let me back up. You can use some clamps to clamp this together. And if you don't have, you know, clamps would be um, like here's a big uh, wood screw, um, C-clamps would work uh, equally well. Uh, another kind of clamp you could use would be these, these cam clamps here. But if you don't have these clamps and you can't find any that you can borrow, you can um, accomplish the same thing with a heavy weight. We've got a big bar of iron here. Now, <laughs> You may not have one of these at home. In fact, I'd be quite surprised if you did. So if you don't, you just use something else that's pretty heavy. Um, a stack of books works great. You can um, stack some uh, sacks of flour. Um, this is pretty heavy reading right here. This would probably do the trick, a Latin English dictionary. Um, yeah. So, go ahead and gather all your stuff, and when you're ready, uh, go check out the next video and we'll start gluing the frame together.